Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am an Iron Junior, perpetually stuck on the back foot. Uh, okay, I am over at Spawn Island because I released episode zero uh, yesterday, where it, it's basically just a, a mechanics recap of some of the very fundamental basics of what we're doing with the Skyblock server. And no spoilers, but there was an exclusive preview that was hiding behind this tree that is now gone. Uh, hey guys, thank you for the raid. Um, the there there was a villager over here that was going to be there for trading heads, and I tested him once I put him in there. I'm sorry, I, I yeah. Like I said, stuck on the back foot. I've been running behind on so many things, and I'm also run down because I'm running behind all the time. Um, <clears throat> so the, the 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 guy that was standing there that was going to be trading heads that I put there, I tested, I tested with the admin account, and so naturally, I was able to trade with them. Um, <clears throat> and then Reyes found out that uh, you you could not in fact trade with them. And then I went to double check and found out that you could not, in fact, trade with him. Uh, so there's much sadness, and um, buried under here somewhere is a villager head for the poor guy that didn't make it. Uh, <clears throat> all right, that out of the way. Let me. No, you're still talking. Oh, yes, I was still talking. <laughs> I just turned Discord <laughs> on at the Hi. best or worst possible time. I'm not sure which. <laughs> I was just saying I, that that I said that I thought you were had forgotten to bring us in because I was watching the stream and you were pointing stuff out. Yeah, I, I was talking about the uh, the 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 guy who's supposed to be there for trading purposes for player head trading purposes in my unintentional exclusive preview on episode zero posted <laughs> uh, recently on YouTube and <clears throat> finding out the hard way after sending Rayest over there with emeralds that he does not in fact trade with anybody who is not an admin and I Rayest did not appreciate this Rayest did not appreciate this so yeah I was kind of explaining that and um <clears throat> if if whoever's watching has been following the li the chain of live streams you've already seen uh X Medic Frog make a few of these uh, Skyblock has the ability to put together little signs that are shortcuts for the various challenges. Um, I can start composting some of those wheat seeds. So, they are of limited help. Like, the apple collector is there. It gives you how many apples you have left to do the apple collector challenge. So, if I go, like, slash C, that takes me over to the challenges, and I see the same thing, that I need three apples and in that chest are two. Um, not more, because my trees hate me. When you have the requirements, you'll see a little ready like this. So for the melon farm challenge, I've got enough slices. Matter of fact, the way it's set up, it'll only take what you need for the challenge out of that box. So you could actually have four signs, one on each of the four sides of the chest, and just feed in all the stuff from the different farms. Um, so if you set it up right, you could have like a pumpkin farm, a melon farm, a sugar farm, a and a cactus farm all funneling into the same chest and just have a different sign on each side. And when each challenge is ready, you just come back, right click that sign, bam, you've completed the melon farmer challenge. It now tells me I got 98 slices of melon to go. There's the stuff left over from the, uh, <laughs> what was there when I got it. And I now have... Eight more dirt, which is good. That'll come in handy in a minute. What I really need is cobble, but I haven't had time to do AFK type stuff here at the cobble generator. Uh, I got a little bit. I've got enough for the cobble challenge, but I don't. I I, I had to take my sugarcane farm down because I, as I was rebuilding up there. Um, matter of fact, one of the things that I am going to do eventually is. Uh, move all the farms away from this little starter part. I think I'm going to try to restore this island to its original 
dimensions and uh and then move the grass elsewhere um <clears throat> and the reason why i was trying to get all that cobble is down here <laughs> down here I i've been trying to accumulate enough cobble to platform out kind of what medic is doing over there except for a different reason i need to find where my slime chunk is so that way i know where to put my hostile mob farm because i want my hostile mob farm as far away <laughs> from the slime chunk as i can get it and still be far enough away from anybody else's island um <clears throat> Because slimes count towards the hostile mob cap, and I don't want the slime chunk loaded while I'm trying to get skeletons and zombies and such. Um, so, I don't, I don't think that's going to be enough cobblestone to get very far on the quest to uh, to find find the. Uh, Do you accept friendly donations? No. I appreciate the I appreciate the offer, but no. I will do this. Stubborn. Well, so guy, I'm yes, about to go Kettle. To this island and make him watch me chuck cobblestone over the ledge and I'm just like, No, that's no, up that to you. Won't help. Um <laughs> and I only heard I only heard the side of the conversation on this part. But the issue with hoppers. The reason why it normally gives me such heartburn is open hopper, open topped hoppers are a lag machine. As the server admin having bunches of hoppers open to the air causes all sorts of system ruckus. I don't care well, so much this go round. I don't care so much this go round because you can only have 50. So there's a natural cap. You can't do a giant mob spawner size pad of open hoppers causing the server to to groan in agony. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so go ahead. Do what you're going to do because you can only do 50 of them. <laughs> oh, there's my last apple. Thankfully. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, because <laughs> the whole reason why I'm really struggling with this apple collector is my one stupid jungle tree didn't give me any saplings. I, I am a mite bit perturbed by that. My jungle tree only gives me saplings if it's a four by... Or a two by two. It should give you saplings regardless. You'll just get more if you get the two by two because you have more leaves. I have not gotten a single one from a single tree. Each leaf block has a per independent percentage chance of dropping a sapling. Well, I've been rolling you. Thanks. I try. Mm -hmm. That's not what I needed right now. As, as I mentioned in the intro, I, I, I feel like I'm perpetually stuck on the back foot. I haven't had time to grind the cobble generator. I haven't had time to build much. And it doesn't look like next week's going to... Or this the remainder of this week, um, especially with its fake Monday start, um, is going to be any better. Eh, it's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. <laughs> ah, it will be. You'll be fine. That's the person who's in third. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. No. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the, I want to enjoy this. You know what that requires? Time. <laughs> and emeralds. Well, not until I get the villagers. And to get the villagers, I need the portal to the nether to get the nether wart and the blaze rod. And seriously, Medic, did you buy that lotto ticket? Because you were on a roll. 
No, I, unfortunately, as soon as I got off last night, I went to bed. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, let me let me uh, switch to this real quick. Um, so people know. Uh, which config? Is that the config? No, that's the custom origin config. This is the one I'm looking for. The way you Skyblock is set up, when you break blocks in the nether, depending on what you break, you have a percentage chance for another block to randomly generate near it. So, if you break a netherrack block, you have a 30% chance for another netherrack to just appear next to it. Above it, beside it, below it, whatever. Um, you have a 15% chance for a second netherrack block to randomly appear near it. You have a 5% chance for another quartz ore block to generate. A 5% chance for soul sand to randomly appear. And a 5%... Oh. Yeah, a 5% chance for Ancient Debris to show up. So you break Netherrack, you have a 5% chance for nev for Ancient Debris to show up. Somebody just randomly popped up to Ancient Debris in the middle of their stream. <clears throat> Three. Three? Three. <laughs> ancient debris from from that one trip <laughs> well don't don't burn up all your netherrack because remember it only has a chance to appear when you're breaking netherrack there's no other way to get more netherrack in there at this particular juncture uh that's okay yeah, I, I saved it because i'm going to build a netherrack farm <laughs> Uh, well, I was I was going to ask how you were planning on doing that, where you just place it down and break it, kind of like the the uh, concrete generator, where you get a block yep. that you just kind of pop it up against and just hold down the left and right click and keep mining it till more appears. Uh, no, kind of older school. Just throw down a line of them and then start breaking them. Okay. And throw down a line of them. Uh, well, just for completeness, when you break nether quartz ore, you've got a 30% chance for another ore to show up and a 10% chance for a second ore to show up. Uh, when you break soul sand, you've got a 25% chance for another soul sand to pop up, a 7% chance for a third soul sand to show up, a 5% chance for gravel to show up, and a 5% chance for a magma block to show up. If you break gravel, you get a 15% chance for another gravel to show up, and a 5% chance for a third gravel to show up, and a 5% chance for a soul sand to show up. When you break glowstone, you have an 80% chance for a second glowstone to show up, and a 15% chance for a third. Now, there is some weighting applied to the percentage chances depending on what tool you're using. So if you're using a wooden tool, your terraform weighting is zero. Stone is one. Iron is 0.9. Uh, gold is 1.5. Diamond is lower then at point two, and netherite is 1.2. That is the default weighting from out of the box. Don't, uh, don't stone. it. Huh? So you stone. Uh, no, use gold. Gold is 1.5. That's better than netherite. Yeah, but I am not going to waste my gold on making a tool. <laughs> oh, no. no. Well, see, that's that's why you, you keep going for the stuff. This, you know, you keep breaking the soul sand, get enough magma blocks to get a killer gold farm, you know, like in season one. You, you only need like a shulker box or two worth of uh, magma blocks. Yeah, I only need one sheep to have unlimited string. <laughs> And as you can see, I still don't have that. <laughs> uh, oops. Let me get the game back. There we go. 
Okay. Well, as you can see, I have zero sheep at the moment, so uh, you're still a sheep up on me. I have zero sheep. No. Oh. I thought you, I thought you said something about Oh, that's right. Uh you didn't get the sheep spawn I get. No. Nobody has sheeps. No, in order to get the sheep spawn egg, you have to have like sixty four <laughs> wool. Yeah, that's right. You have to have wool in all the colors, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, start working on those dyes. Why would I need the sheep? <laughs> Why would you need the sheep to get the reward, the other rewards from there? I'm trying to remember what color uh, the Jeb sheep shears as. Is it whatever color it happens to be showing, or is it always white, or whatever the original color was? I think it's always white. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, you're just going to make all of yours Jebs? <laughs> I might do that later, <laughs> just because, but... But now you're talking about fishing to get the uh, name nah, tags. Nah, I'm talking about librarians to get name tags. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see any of us getting that anytime soon. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you guys are already up at, like, what, level 70, 100, somewhere in that ballpark? I don't mm. think you're understanding how the level doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It weighs in a lot more places than you realize. I mean, other than the fact that now I can, I have a very small chance of getting diamond in my generator. I'm almost there. Where? To diamond? Yep. Hmm. And I mentioned it in chat, but Saturday I'm going to take the server down uh, so I can update the coordinates HUD and the single player sleep. So no D and D Saturday? Oh yes, D and D Saturday. Are you kidding me? Of okay. course there's D and D Saturday. We okay. have XP to get, and we're stuck in the oh. middle of a cave somewhere. That's right. I gave you XP. Uh, no, you gave them far. XP. I was busy setting up the server. Oh, um, it's not enough to level. Don't worry about it. Uh, what do you mean? Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't worry about it. You guys are stuck in a cave somewhere, though. Yeah. Hope you make it out of there. We'll make it out of there. Most of us. The book will be annoyed <laughs> when you make it out of there. Oh? Yeah, because... All, all we have to do is just pull everything at once. Wait, wait, is this, is this the same book that had us do the brain-dead plan? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. The book of unimagination? Imagination Station, we missed our stop? Yeah, seriously. Uh, uh -huh. I also need to set up, uh, I need to get a couple more starter farms going. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I don't nope. have to be, but, I mean, if you want me to, I can. Usually. What? Usually? No, I'm always up for some Usually kidding. you are. Ooh, I like your, uh, bridge. I just realized that I still got the sad cobble half slab of shame. You didn't come all the way over. I did. It said I entered your island. I, I got you starter didn't come farms. All the way over. I got starter farms to get going. Okay. Wait. Except these guys keep growing. I need to find a. I need to find a better home for them. Oh. I also need to take this down. Otherwise, my jungle tree is never going to grow. Uh, all right. Thirty. 
How do I want to do this? I'm going to go ahead and use a bunch of slabs because they're cheap. I need to, I need to, <laughs> I was laughing while Medic set up his cactus farm because that was uh, on my agenda for today. I was waiting for you to say I was laughing because, you know, he did it wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not going to laugh about that in front of you. That would be sad. Besides, with the way my memory's been, I, I know exactly what it's like to sit there and go, "Oh, um, how, how do I, how do I, how do I again?" Um, oh, yeah, the memory struggle is real. Plus, I mean, I, I don't think anybody actually built a cactus farm last season. No. Uh, I didn't... I mean, not outside of, well, like, a basic one. Well, I had the zero tick one until it broke. Yeah. By that time, we didn't need it. Yeah, because we had already had as much green dye as we needed. Whatever. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. We had a lot. No. No. Why no? Because in order to get this challenge of burning through all my daggone string. Oh. Oh, for the wool challenge? No, for the the horsing around challenge. I, I thought you needed leather to make the leads. No, you, no, you need string. Four string per lead. Mm hmm. You gotta have eight leads. Yep. And you need a carrot on a stick, which incidentally isn't just a stick with some string, Oop. it's a fishing pole. Oof. That was almost bad. <laughs> oh, and, and and to answer the, the question that you guys were playing around with, yes, the game is set up so that way you cannot take damage on another player's island. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. You cannot take fall damage on another player's island. <laughs> you can't take spider damage. Yes. <laughs> um, let, let's, let, let's see. Where is those? Yep. Uh, and don't worry. If you ever die on my island, I'll put all your stuff in a box for you. Right. If you ever die on my island, I'll think about it. Maybe. Th think about that one for a second. You can't what? open boxes <gasps> on other people's Oh, islands. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> is it really, though? Okay, so uh, the island is protected from uh, visitors trampling your crops. The island is protected from visitors attacking your animals. The island is protected from visitors attacking your monsters. The island is protected from visitors shearing your sheep. And your island is protected from being bombarded with eggs that hatch. Dang it. Your island is protected from people trading with your villagers. Visitors are protected from fall damage. Visitors are protected from fire damage. Visitors are not protected from monster damage. Visitors are allowed to drop items. That is something you can turn off, by the by. But I kind of left that at the default on because that, that seemed... We, we, we should still have some... <gasps> oh, sorry. I just saw Arcadius fell from a high place. It's okay. Um, third, third time today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you can't actually set it up so that way visitors can't drop I items on an island. But I figured we really should have a way to trade stuff just, just in case somebody wanted to. 
um, it won't. It, a it, certain person won't take you anything. Yes, but other people like to have friends. So. Oh no, no 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 no! I I I'm okay with an even swap. I'm not just taking stuff. But I have okay, nothing to then trade. I ex. Oh. No. <laughs> Uh, you do get a warning when a player. I got a list. You do get a warning when a player visits your island. That is something you can actually turn off. Um, you can actively block banned players from entering an island by walking, flying, or warping. Blocked players. Yeah, if, if somebody's being a jerk, but you don't want to turn off. Island warping, you can just add them to a block list. Can you? Yes. What, what are this you doing? is good information. What, what, what is the point of that? <laughs> I feel like the fact that you're the person who asked that that way is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving right along. <clears throat> um... Uh, visitors are not allowed to use nether portals by default. Actually, just all portals, nether or end. Uh, you can change that in the config, but I, I, I left it the default off. Uh, the one change I did not make from... Or the one change I did make to the default settings is I did allow visitors to mount vehicles on your island. Because I'd eventually like to set up a rail system, like a minecart system from island to island. And, uh, you, you know what you can't do if you can't get on the minecart in somebody else's island. Ride a rail? Ride a rail. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> I did not enable it. But just so you know, this is a thing that you Skyblock allows. Uh, you can turn on phantom spawning in the nether. Oh, that is not no. amusing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it took me a second. I'm like, <laughs> that would be that, that would be horrible. Nay, nay. It's a thing. You can turn it on. <laughs> well, you, you can't turn it on. I just said. I can turn it on. <laughs> nay, nay. Uh, and there's a few other things, uh, but I mean, it, yeah, it, there's a bunch of other stuff sitting in the, in the configuration. Ooh, Arcadia's got the monster Congrats. farm challenge. Congratulations on that much string. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta get my monster farm going. I'd probably be doing better if I didn't get, keep getting distracted by the pumpkin smellings. <laughs> Ruth. Alright. Um... <sighs> I keep losing stuff over the edge, too. That's not helping anything. I did that a lot. It's nighttime, and I haven't slept since ever at all. I still don't even have a bed. Yeah, that makes two of us. Okay. I also need to move the... I'm not going to build a birch. Uh, I need to move... I need to set up a, a proper melon pumpkin farm of some sort. I think I'm going to try to set up some of the ones that will allow for... Uh, redstone automation. I'll, I'll try to get them set up so that way when I finally get iron for pistons uh, I'll be able to just throw those in there and get a little more automation in my life. If 
eventually. Maybe. Maybe. Right now, just like enough iron to get a uh, a proper hopper under this uh, cobble generator, so I don't lose as much. You know, I could pay it forward. Reyes, help me no. get my first one. I'll get there. Okay. I did a thing. I did a thing. Boop, which, boop, boop, boop. Which thing did you do? One of the quests. One of the challenges? Whatever. Whatever. think about it. I might set it up so that way all the chests for the farms right up there come down to this level right here. I was going to try to put them up up that way a little bit more, but uh, now that I'm down here working on this, I kind of like the idea of this being the, the maintenance, la <laughs> maintenance layer. I have more fishies than I know what to do with. Yeah, since uh, changing my method of transport up and down from the level zero to an actual ladder and uh, water water drop, um, I, I no longer actively get much in the way of fish. So I need to I need to set up a proper fish farm too. I was going to do that on level zero down there. And I was going to try to set it up so that way the fish farm is near the mob farm. So they're both active. Doesn't that kill your count or is it because one's passive and Because one's... the fish are passive mobs. You don't have to worry about them counting towards the hostile mob cap. Hmm. But that's why I want to make sure the slime chunk is far enough away from the mob farm that the slimes aren't eating up all my... Uh, all my space. What do you do with cod heads? Is there like any benefit to them? Uh, you trade them to people. You put them on little fancy armor stands and pose them around your eye. I don't think I have enough armor stands for the amount of cod heads I have. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, because because again, it, it's. This is where this is where I'm trying to remind myself that we're still we're still early game. I mean, I don't think you. I have more <laughs> cod heads now than I had all collected heads last season. <laughs> well, you, you've also done more active fishing. Uh, how much fishing did you do last season? Mm, I actually technically haven't fished yet. Yes, you have. When the fish show up and you whack them with an axe or a hatchet, you are fishing. Okay, because that, that's not how most people... Yeah. Well, most people are wrong. Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> we're not even going to go there, but... What? How most people are wrong? Yeah, we're not... We're not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Thank you. I need torches. I'll take some of those spruce. And get that cooking while I'm thinking about it. Because as I build out that area down below, I need to... Uh, I need to light it up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a platform of just slabs. 
and then I'll uh, put an actual floor in one chunk at a time until I find the one that has the slimes in it. Just so that way I don't have to worry about a bajillion and two mobs floating around. Although maybe I'll just one-up Medic and uh, make my floor a giant uh, water puddle. So that way I never fall to my death down there. Ooh, ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you I keep like telling my ideas like they're ridiculous ones? Huh? You keep saying the things that I plan on doing as if they're ridiculous or crazy or dumb. It it is a little ridiculous to make an entire. I I, I want to say the island is 128 blocks by 128 blocks, but I, no, that's not right. Each island each island is 128 blocks apart, so. I've got 64 blocks from my island to the outer edge. The original island was five blocks wide. So not counting this. So that that's. Um, no, it's from the center. It's straight 64. Is it? I thought it was from the edge yes. of the island. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I thought. Oh. And then the island said, nay, nay. <laughs> Because I, I know it's 128 blocks between islands. I just couldn't remember if it counted the five blocks in the island in that or not. Oh, nay, nay. Okay. So, so we're talking about building a platform 128 blocks by 128 blocks. Okay. What's the... What's the um, is there a mathlete around that can uh, give us the, the slab count on that? That's kind of what I'm already doing. So why not just finish that up and then put down some buckets of water? <laughs> 128 by 128 is 16,384. Ooh, divide that by 64. How many stacks is that? 256. 250, uh, 256 stacks? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess if I if I had something better than stone tools, I could I could tape the mouse button down and AFK here for a while. But I mean, uh, stone tools barely last long enough to get you a burger or something. Speaking of burger, I got to go here in a minute so I can uh, eat <laughs> dinner real quick. <laughs> yes, you should, because uh, it, it's been quite the day today with uh, Arcadia mm -hmm. streaming and then you streaming. And now here we Which are. Which is nine and a half uh, single chests. Nine and a half single chests? Mm -hmm. Well. So. We'll say five double chests just to, just to make it nice and easy. I'll, mm -hmm. uh, I'll go get my... Well, I guess if I do it by... Hello, Beach Duck. Although I guess if I do it with slabs instead of blocks, that then that's what two two and a half double chests of uh, blocks to get enough slabs. Or am I mathing wrong again? That so one more time. Nah, I'll just build it out as I go, and then find out I'm short when I'm short. Or that. But in the meantime, I'll probably get one double chest down there before I start building. Uh, I guess nobody can tell if it's daylight or not because the storm. I can tell. What? Hold on. Oh, do you have a clock? I'll go out there and check. Oh. <laughs> I mean, of a sorts. Are, are you waiting for the uh, the phantoms? Yep, it's daytime. <laughs> because you weren't assaulted. Exactly. <laughs> Yay! I got a sapling. Jerk! Oh no 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 no! Hi, Mister Phantoms. Oh, never mind. I didn't go far <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I get two. I get. Oh, okay. I get. I get two. Come on. Oh. 
Did that lightning just strike near here? Because this sounded like lightning struck. I was busy avoiding bad people. Glad I don't have any villagers. I'd have a real problem then. Because they become sad people? Yeah, they become witches when they're struck by lightning. I'd also worry if I had pigs, because then they'd become zombie pigmen. Is that how that works? Do they trade things? No. No. <laughs> no, you're thinking of the piglins. Eh, or, yeah. Yeah, you're thinking of the piglins, and they trade things only when they're in the nether. If you take them into the overworld, they uh, convert <laughs> into zombified piglins and become very sad. Like, which kind of sad? Like, the as long as you're nice to them, they'll be nice to you, but the second you bump them wrong, the, they will attack you. All of them. Mm. All of them. They will hear the call. Come on. And they will answer. And they will answer. Is there a way to know how many, like, pickaxes and things you've used? Because I feel like there has been many. Yes, there is. It should be in your uh, statistics. Yeah, I, I I was thinking of checking to see just how many stone pickaxes I've gone through. I feel like it's been there. There one more. <laughs> well, I better get a fresh axe first. Is it daytime now? Oop, nope, 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 nope. Well, whether it or is or isn't. Or are they still there because it's yeah. thundery? Because it's raining, they won't burn up. Although it looks like it's getting ready to be daytime. Arcadius, can you sleep, please? I can. There's no single player sleep. What's him sleeping going to do? <laughs> Make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'll jump in my bed for you. Actually, I can't. It won't let me. Yeah, because it's daytime now, isn't it? According to my clock, it's 3.12, so... Oh, uh, yeah, that got out of sync again. Uh, that's one of the things that I want to fix this weekend. Ah, uh, okay. Because the, the coordinates HUD that we have right now is built for a vanilla server, not a spigot server. So I'm going to install a spigot-compatible version of it. Oh, okay. And then we shouldn't have problems with the clocks getting out of sync. Hey, you know, it's okay. I mean, no, it's, it's not it's okay. I, I, need, I need to I need to know if it's daytime or not. Dude, it's fine. It's a, it's accurate half the time. So no, it's not even accurate <laughs> half the time. <laughs> if it had stopped, it would at least be right twice a day. But no, it's not even that. I mean, honestly, even if I didn't find a spigot compatible, I'd still leave the coordinate side because for me, the coordinates part is far more important than the clock. I mean, I like having a clock, don't get me wrong, but uh, if it comes down to it, I'll use the gold and redstone to make a, uh, to make a clock. Nope. I haven't found gold yet. It's the only thing I haven't found. Uh, I don't... You're... I'm trying to remember when that kicks in with the origin now. Uh, I'm guessing 100, because Medic only started getting it recently. Okay. I, I still don't get it. I know it's when you can start getting gold f at, from uh, objective completion. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> no saplings. Sadness. At least it's oak saplings. I got a full stack of them. Yeah, I think I'm going to set up a better, better version of a tree farm. But I'm going to do that on the side of, of my island facing away from Spawn Island. So at, at a point in time when I'm a little more resource rich, I'll probably go back through tear out a bunch of the stuff from in front of the island and maybe put a, a pretty building in front. 
Maybe. Can we build bridges to Spawn Island? Uh, you can build bridges to uh, the edge of your island towards Spawn Island. And then at some point in time, when I have the time, I can admin in some bridges that connect out. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Although, Medic's going to have the most interesting time since he's going to have to diagonally his way over there. Or if we want to do a horrible British accent, we can go diagonally. No. Thank you. Um, or he just gets there through one of the rails that goes through one of our bases. Yeah. And you also are going to have the same problem. I think Arcadius and I are the only ones that are square to the island. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine. Okay. Well, if you want to go ahead and do that, go ahead and start building yours out, and I'll uh, admin it in once uh, once we It'll get a little bit It'll take me a minute. Closer. I'm not quite there on my resources yet, but <laughs> I'll get there. Who of us is? All right. Closer than any of us are. <laughs> I had to stop my lava flow project for a little while. Why is that? I needed trees. Oh. That's... And I keep trying to get certain minerals, but they keeps giving me redstone, and I have, like, a full stack of redstone and nothing to do with it. Holy mother of chiseled stone, Batman. What? I, that's that's a lot of chiseled stone. <laughs> what? Why do you think I needed the wood trees? Well, because you had to cook it to get the stone, and then yeah, yeah. I, I gotta I gotta get cracking on that. How that many question. do I have? A lot. Uh, if you do actually, slash is info rest, which you can do yourself too. You can do slash is space info space the name yeah, but of. Yeah, it doesn't uh, give uh, me all my stuff. It does. And I only have seven hundred and sixty-one chiseled stone bricks, mm -hmm. cobblestone slabs. Oh, it went away. Oh, there uh, it is. Yeah. Um, oh no. There, okay, so it just taps out. So you got to CT to see everything. Mm -hmm. I have a lot more cobblestone. The goal is to eventually not have that much cobblestone. Ah. A hundred jungle slabs. Great googly moogly. Mm -hmm. The thing I gotta figure out is if there's a way to get your island level on the tab screen. I don't know if that's a thing I can do or not, but I forgot how to. Uh, I forgot how to. I forgot how to adjust the tab screen because <laughs> I did it way I back at the beginning of season. I, I did that way back at the beginning of season one, and then promptly forgot. And I meant to do that over the weekend and promptly forgot. I'm sure there's other stuff I really need to be doing, but I have promptly forgot. Um, or if I'm going with the British or if I'm going with the British thing, I I have proper forgot. Not just forgot, proper forgot. I was thinking about that when uh, Troy Hunt was doing a security update. He was doing a little bit of because because of uh, some of the stuff he's got going on at home. He was mentioning that uh, it, it is where he lives in subtrop subtropical Australia. They don't get rain; they get proper rain. And that's when I realized that, uh, or realized just how British. Uh, some parts of Australia really are. Or some Australian slang really is. Is, uh -oh, is it nighttime? Mm -hmm. Oh, I heard the phantom screams. I was in the, the middle of taking day. down this tree. And there goes all my leaf cover. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Uh, I would really like these. Oh, 
Where is a reservoir? Uh, some drops have glitched. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! That, that was a long way down. <laughs> <laughs> wow that happened that's what I get for not paying it come on come on well, you what, you started this let's do this go on where's your friend No, no, no. Come back here. I want what you're dropping. Ah, you bum. What do you need it for? Uh, eventually repairing Elytra and for potions oh. of slow falling. How did you do the farmy thing where you caught them last time? Uh, I, I go to the season one download and look at the sign and, uh, and then follow the link in the sign to the video. You don't remember how it worked. I vaguely remember how it worked. That's almost the same. Mm. Not really, no. Ah. Do they tap out? Because I only have three. And I feel like I should have more than that at this point. Um, At a certain point, yes. I, I think, but I think that point is at five. Oh, well, a couple of them died by cactus. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Have a cactus shelter. The only problem is that the uh, some of the drops will die with them. Leave the XP is all she cares about. No. Yeah, that's what the mob farm's die. for. And I think it's funny that they keep trying to soupy me and they keep flying right into my cacti. This is actually supposed to be a mushroom growing platform, but I, I, I've been using it for spruce for the time being. I need to get some dark oak too, because I think the lumberjack challenge is available to me at the moment. But I don't remember what that's involved. Lumberjack is 16 of each type of log. Okay. I was going to get some of these farms back up and running before I started setting up uh, boxes and signs for the rest. Got a head cactus in there. Uh, okay. Uh, I put, where did I put the sticks away? Who ducked out? Hmm? Uh, medic ducked out. Hmm. Probably still eating. Ark, what are you doing? Collecting wood. How many hits do these guys take? A few. Oh, that's right. You can't see from where you're at. No, he, What do you mean I can't see? His giant pagoda. Oh. Nope, I can't. I was wondering what he was going to build on that platform. I like the style. I do. I do like the birch trap doors in there. I don't normally like birch trap doors, but I do. I do like what what that does for the way you got the build going. Oh, that is pretty. Okay. Oh, I hadn't seen that yet. Mm -hmm. Well, you can warp over to his island, and then uh. Uh, not right now. I can't. No, thank you. Well, no, then you warp back and the phantoms are his problem. Is that how that works? <laughs> what? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no, that, that's not how any of this works. What are you talking about? Actually, I, I don't know if the phantoms would uh, target him or not. Yeah, no, they, they don't care to look after anyone. Uh, I just can't remember if uh, the Skyblock mob 
stuff will affect them or not. No, no, they legit don't care. They go after anyone. Oh, did you find that out the hard way? Yeah. No. Oh. Sadness. Will they fly from my place over to his? No. No. Oh. No, you just su you'll just summon in a new bunch and uh Two. With one stone? Can't get any drops, though. No. With five cactus. <laughs> Just luring them into the cactus? Uh, well, then mm -hmm. the drops might have fallen on the cactus and broke themselves. Maybe. More to the point that I killed them. Not the exhilarating building I had planned. As I hide each night at the cobble generator. Hey, that's that's what this is. Early days. Hiding? Mm hmm. It Hiding? doesn't matter if you're playing standard survival or what. You spend your early days hiding. <laughs> that's what you do at night. Whether it's in a dirt hut or at a cobble generator. <laughs> Oh, here comes the sun. I won't sing it. Don't worry. That 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 pitch is a little out of sight of my range. Let's hang on to that for the moment. It's not morning enough yet, though, because I haven't heard them burn. <laughs> You're just waiting for them to burn. Burn! Burn! Basically. I also need to take some of my flowers and start working on a beehive, too. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the platform where I'm going to set up the bee farm and then just grow the tree in that area. And then I'll just cut the tree around the beehive since I won't have silk touch to, you know, move it later. That's what I was going to do. There's more. There we go. Redstone. And then I'll do that. And that. And if I put. Oh. Uh. Oh, too high. No, that would be it. Yes! Bottom, top, bottom. There we go. And if I remember right, I can put... That guy there. And 
not falling down the hole. I can put that guy there. They should all make their way to the front. No, because they're going to get caught. Like, if that guy goes there. I gotta put my floor in first. Because I can't have the bottom slabs. off there. It'll go down that way. If it goes there, it'll go that way. If it goes there, it'll go that way. And there, it'll get stuck. So... Thanks. Thanks, what Beach Duck? Oh, that's from a hot minute ago. Oh. I think that was thanks for the, um, not singing. Oh. Yeah. I focus. I'm losing focus. Alright, now if I put that guy there. That's far enough apart that the water streams don't join. And something there will get pushed off. Something there will get pushed off. And it will all make its way down to the front. I don't want the streams to, uh, to cross, that's for sure. Nope. Really? You were expecting... Nothing. That was a good pop culture reference, thank you. Okay. Also, 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 um, I can redo this mushroom farm because I, I forgot that uh, mushroom will spread on pods all regardless of light level, so I don't need to make the dark room I was planning on making. underneath um a dirt block and it be hydrated right um if i remember correctly yes but i'm not 100 percent sure on that one yeah, that's right i need signs and fence posts maybe i should actually do the four-sided thing and count One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-one fence posts. Glass panes would be better. Iron bars would be better because they're thinner than fence posts. But sometimes you do the best with what you get.
Oh, there we go. That was more than I needed, but I'll take it. I know, I know. Because I hit the wrong sliver of box. a lot better. Okay. And if that's the case. going overkill on this. I, I don't actually need all these fence posts. Except it'll help contain some of the stuff popping off in places I didn't want it to. Depth Strider boots. Why? Because <laughs> I'm trying to work in moving water and it's pushing me along. I never used Depth Strider, so I don't understand. Uh, you did if you used any of the boots that Arcadius or I gave you. No, I used my own. I made them. But you guys were in my backup box, so maybe at some point I probably put them on. I, I see how it's it is. Right here. We're backup box. Mm -hmm. Hey, I appreciated those backups. I died a lot. All right, so I'm gonna plant down the kink. I'm gonna plant down the cactus. I, I'm so <laughs> tired. I am so so tired. I'm going to plant down the cactus. Cactus do not like growing next to a block. So when this guy grows, the second one is going to break off because it will be next to one of these fence posts. Ideally, you would want a ring of glass panes or a ring of iron bars around it because... Oh, let's not wash, walk ourselves into the cactus... Um, because if you'll notice the, the box around the, uh, fence post is wider than, yeah, we'll get to that when I get some iron bars and whatnot to, to demonstrate with. Right now I'm going to find some shelter. And definitely not sing the Rolling Stone song because they, they get kind of litigious. Um, I just got to finish the water collection and then I can put the, the box where the final collection point is going to go and I might need a couple more signs. Um, 
I'd started talking about Troy Hunt's bit with uh, the proper proper ring, but uh, the distraction. Yeah, distractions and stuff. I also love how oh, because he's on one of the canals on the Gold Coast. Uh, he mentioned that he's going to have to paddle over to his neighbor's house for dinner because his neighbor is literally across the canal. Except he wasn't sure he was, he was going to paddle over. He was probably going to take the footbridge because it's winter in Australia right now. And it's a cold, cold 16 degrees Celsius right now. What's that for us? That's not even freezing for us. That's... No. <laughs> That's... Yeah. No. What is that for us? <laughs> Not that cold. <laughs> Remember? Oh, come on. Yeah, no. But for him, it's a cold 16 degrees. OMG. Mm hmm. Uh, also, he started the podcast with the patience of Job. Trying 60, 60 point, thank you, medic. 60, uh, 16 degrees Celsius is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, I'm not saying that's my favorite temperature, but I mean, I got a good hoodie. I'm okay. Like, I just wear the thicker winter hoodies. Look, let, let's be honest. That's not going to matter for you because you saw that video of the spider carrying the rat up the wall. Oh, yeah. No, that we're not. That That's... If, if you were <laughs> hoping that this is going to endear me to visit there, no. I don't know, but may, maybe maybe an off-season cruise? Like, like, Oh, wait, no. That would involve a boat. No. Never mind. Never mind. Thank you. I told you where you could get me to go. Mm -hmm. Ireland. Mm -hmm. And England. Mm -hmm. And Scotland. Not in the winter. Not in the winter? <laughs> yeah, their winter is no. a little different, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they are a little bit further north than we've ever been. Yeah, we don't, Nene. But they have very cute cows. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he's very, very patiently trying to explain something that he's explained before using small words so as not to confuse the journalists who keep mixing this up. Although, a more cynical person would point out that um, it's hard to sell ads on articles that uh, don't overplay what actually happened. Yes, a coffee craft trip to the UK. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Since you've been doing so good with the with the numbers, start working on that lotto ticket, and uh, and then we'll all fly in style. Um, in the news has been a the articles have been breathlessly going over a LinkedIn data breach about hackers who stole all this data from LinkedIn. Except, there's two different terms that need to be kept in mind. There is a data breach where somebody uh, gets unauthorized access to a system and is able to exfiltrate data from that system. And then there's something called scraping, 
where you write a program that is designed to read the information that is on a web page and then stuff it into a database of your own. So if there, you're looking at a social site like LinkedIn with information like your first name, last name, contact information that you would want to publish on a site like LinkedIn because you're trying to find a job via LinkedIn, then uh, somebody somebody could write a program that just scraped all the all the publicly available information. Information that if you didn't want people to have, you shouldn't have been putting it on LinkedIn in the first place. And so what happened was somebody scraped a bunch of data from LinkedIn again and combined it with data that they scraped from other places too. And then use the various information that was in common between all those places to piece in more data than people realized that they had put out publicly. Which is why you, if, if you don't want people to get it, you shouldn't put it on a publicly acceptable, uh, accessible website, especially in, you know, the profile information that's on display. Except usually when Troy gets to that part, somebody yells at him about victim blaming. Especially when he gets into part like, you know, uh, I assume every photo of my kids that gets put on Facebook is going to be seen publicly. Even if I didn't intend it to be, it will probably end up public for one reason or another. So if I don't want the public to see the particular photo of my kids, I don't put it on Facebook. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and, and <laughs> what the the whole thing came up uh, not too far back in, in relation to somebody who had posted a photo to Facebook. They thought they had restricted it to just friends, and somehow the photo got shared beyond the circle of friends. Um, there's a myriad of ways that that can happen, but the point remains, and Troy's point remains, that like, if you post it somewhere that other people can see it, you have to assume it's going to go further than you intended. So maybe, just maybe, you, you, you should not put it up there if you don't want people to see it. And then people were going, you're just blaming the victim. Yes. I mean... That's exactly what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so... Some people have interesting InfoSec ideas. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go with the charitable interesting. Here's what I want to do. I need... Actually, let me put a barrier up temporarily. Because I don't want water to wash all over the place where I didn't want to happen. I put that there. And if I were to put, say... That should still... Okay, okay. So that will still push it out into here. What if I did... There. No, because that's going to push stuff back that way. Whereas if I do it here... Nope, I do have water... Uh, Never mind, I do have water pushing backwards. Alright. Uh, how do I do this while keeping the water pushing 
forwards. Because I remember, I remember setting up a small one like this. Once upon in a time, season zero, and through the very careful application of um, two or three water buckets, I was able to get it. So that way, no matter where something landed. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I was trying to do a different setup than that, though, just because I, I, I've got this half-remembered setup where everything ended up... Oh, no, that's right, because this was in a cube, and the drop point was where that guy is in the center. That's why this isn't working. Okay, okay. But I think what I'll do is I'll put... Here, we'll have the someday a hopper will go there. You skyblock cactus. That'll get me the cactus farm. Hey. Get a bunch of trees back up. All right. Then I just need to find a way to funnel that stuff in there. Actually, that might be all I need. Yeah, because everything should end up going there. And once I get the hopper there... Helps if you throw it in the water. Yeah, because once I get the hopper there, even if it throws over to the ledge, it'll still end up in there. Okay. Uh, let me get... some slabs. Go ahead and cover that side up. Those are covered with bottom slabs, so nothing's going to spawn on top of there. I'll put one more slab right there. And get up here and grab the cacti and put it in the box manually for now. I'll put a wall up later. I should actually put a wall up so stuff doesn't pop out over the edge here. But, uh... That'll have to wait till later. Yeah. Wow, I'm just like walking by and there are fishes. Are they delicious? Like, oh. Well, they're just dying. They're like popping out and dying constantly. Um. Oh. Because there are so many in my little pond. Never mind. One of my cacti got stuck. Why are your cacti in water? The water is pushing the cacti that pop off <laughs> towards that box. Except I got a little dead spot right here. That. Just put a fence there so it'll move along. Uh, except if it pops off of this cactus here and falls in that spot, a fence will still keep it stuck there. And if this guy pops okay. off and falls into this spot, it'll still get stuck there. Um. I, I think I might just have to call that an acceptable loss for the moment. Because really, I, I've... This is just until... This is just until I can get something a little more industrial set up. I just need to make sure I come by here every now and again to, to see what's accumulated. Well, I got all these trees growing. I might as well check my island level. Because... 
that happened to me over over the weekend. Uh, Friday, I, I checked my island level when I had the trees grown, and because I had the leaves and the logs for all the trees that were grown up, it, it pushed my island over to lo over level twenty. And then I harvested everything and wondered why the cobble generator wasn't giving me level 20 stuff. It's because harvesting everything dropped my island below level 20. Sadness. Mm-hmm. So, right now I'm at level 24, which might be enough that once I harvest those, probably not. No, once I, ta once I take those trees down, my island's going to drop again. Eh, I'll get it eventually. No worries. What level you're at? Hmm? Uh, level 24. Level? Sweet. Eventually. Actually, let me go. Let me grab some torches. And I'll put a cap on that farm. while I'm sitting there. Although I do like that that's going to be... Actually, if I jumped up, I could probably actually make... Oh, ah, there they are. Never mind. It's only going to matter if they fall into the hole itself. Uh, do I have a door? I thought I had a door in here. I do not have a door. Hmm. Wonder though. And dark oak does not create puzzle. That is correct. Only spruce creates puzzle. So nothing weird is going to happen to any of my other dirt plots when I plant the star coke. That is correct. No. Okay. The only thing weird that's going to happen is you're going to get a dark oak tree. And probably more apples than you In do for jungle. an oak. I, 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 I legit feel the need to actually check on that. Because it may just be me. But I definitely feel like, uh, for whatever reason, dark oak ends up dropping more apples than uh, oak. Well, for me, it legitimately does, but I don't know if that's because it really has a higher percent, or if it's because the oak, dark oak has more leaves. Yeah. So for harvest, I just feel like I'm getting more. I, I have wondered that as well. Um, I want to... And cactus does not need water to grow. That is correct. Cactus does not need water to grow. Uh, but I do need... I do need shelter very, very soon. Get some torches in here before sadness happens. Uh, I wanted to go. <laughs> I think I hear the sound of a jibbo about to be fed. Ooh, nice. Mm, sort of. I don't mm, know where he came of. from or why he's here. Why witch him? The bad guy. Oh, there he is. Which okay, bad that's guy? Why. The bad guy that I just slayed. That doesn't tell I me what it was. It was a monster thing. 
Oh, it was a zombie. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. It was a zombie and it was mean. Oh, yes, it was a zombie. They're always mean. Hello, friend. That did not work out so well. Come on. Let's do this. Leroy. Oh, and now that I'm thinking about it, in order to do the Phantom Trap, you are going to need iron bars because of the size of the hitbox. Oh. That's okay. All right, this is not working out as well as I'd hope. I'm going to take my melon and go home. really wouldn't mind getting some emerald. That way I could, uh, that way I could buy, uh, oh. Oh, isn't that going to be a problem? What? Uh, because I have bottom slabbed everything, I'm not going to get a wandering trader to show up. Is that why I don't? There's no, there's no place for him to spawn. Oh. Um, yeah, that's why I don't. Huh. All right. Well, that explains some things. Oh. I usually don't want them around anyway. Maybe no, when I, I get to building an actual, like, house, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll build in such a way that he'd actually be able to, uh, arrive. Can he spawn inside a house? Or will lighting make him not spawn? No, it's not light level. Uh, he will spawn regardless of light level, but he needs an actual, like, stone, dirt, etc., etc., type floor. Solid block. Uh, a solid, full-sized, opaque block. So he could spawn on my farm right now? Uh, not the farmland, because your farmland is not a full-sized block. Ooh, did I get the iron? Yes, I got the iron. All right, one down. Four more to go. No, but I have just, like, grass blocks. Uh, yes, he could spawn on the grass blocks. And yet he does not. He doesn't like me. Well, oh. the, the chances of them showing up are kind of low in the first place. Uh, someone's already talked to them a few times. Yeah, I, I, I saw with the, uh, the, uh, the cocoa beans. Yeah, Captain Whoopsie over there. Yeah. And he got enough sand to do my plan in the nether. Oh, <laughs> oh! To pillar down on a giant he pile of sand, for it. Mm -hmm. huh? Yep, and he traded for it. <laughs> Look, you're the idiot who can't figure out how to dive bomb somebody on the other side of the bridge. I don't want to. Come on. Oh, are you? Are you for? Never mind. Forget it. I'm done with you. I'm so done with you. You said for serious. It makes me happy. Too bad you can't put like one iron ore on a uh, campfire and cook it up that way. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the mechanics of the Wandering Trader, uh, it's a random chance every so many days, and it basically comes down to he is almost certainly going to show up at least once every six hours of gameplay. 
But that's assuming there's a suitable spawning location near the player at the time it checks and a whole bunch of other stuff. I haven't gotten too far. I, I glanced through the uh, spawning mechanics when I was building the data pack because I wanted, I was waiting for one to show up so I could actually, you know, talk to him. Oh, I guess I need that slab back. I mean, I don't need that slab back. I want that slab back. <laughs> Prepare what? For another wandering trader to show up? I wouldn't be able to trade with him anyway. He's on your island. Matter of fact, if I remember right, I wouldn't even be able to murder him on your island. I mean... Free up the wandering trader cap for more wandering traders. Yes, that's what I meant. Upon further review, sir, I don't think that's what you meant. What? Of course that's what I meant. Because you can only have one wandering trader in all the loaded chunks. That was one of the other things that really like. So if the wandering trader pops up on Medic's Island, he won't pop up on any of ours. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And it checks to see if there's one already in the world before it spawns another one. So if he, there is one meandering around you won't get another one until he is uh, no, no longer around. It's worded. Until he's wandered on to other things. Is the daylight yet? It's getting there. Yeah, I needed to figure itself out a little bit faster than that. I'm trying to figure out what was causing the weird little lag spike I just had there. Me. Why? Did you put 852 hoppers? No, not yet. <laughs> I love how you say not yet. No, I don't love it. So many stone pickaxes. Actually, while we're waiting for the dawn. Statistics. Items. Times broken. I have broken 30 stone pickaxes so far. I have crafted 33. And I have used stone pickaxes 3,932 times. Ooh, which one are we on? What do you mean, which one are we on? Let's start at general. Oh, I, I I didn't think we were uh, at that point. Well, when Medic comes back, let's do it. I want to see. It'll be fun. <laughs> I've picked up 3,396 cobble. I've put down 1,447 cobble slabs. Oh, because it's a thunderstorm, they won't go away. Yep. Because it's a thunderstorm, they will not go away. That's not kind. Yeah, they didn't even rewind. <sighs> My kingdom for a bubble vader. Getting down is easy. It's the climbing back up that, you know.
That's right, I'll eventually get a uh, mob farm down there. I'll get the slime farm. The biggest thing is if I can find a way to get enough snow to make a snow golem, because I'm probably going to make those... I'm probably going to be able to make those before I can make uh, iron golems. Uh, slimes will target a snow golem. As well as iron golems. And if I remember right, the snowballs will not actually do damage to the slime golem. The, the slimes. Uh, a cactus does require sand though, correct? Yes, it does require sand. And patience, because they grow slowly. So slowly. Yeah, that's going to bother me. What can I do about that? Is this another one? No. That, that seems to make it. Or is the problem that guy back there? There's a space there. What happens if I do... Ow. this thunderstorming thing to quit. Why? Your, unwel hurting my soul. your unwelcome house guests? Yeah. I have the most unwelcome house guests upstairs. And I don't know how we got there. That was... Counterproductive. Um, hmm. Beer bee. <laughs> wow. They were so frustrating you had to leave? Yes, to a point. The tree you grow uh, depends on your objective. If you want a particular type of wood, like the oak will give you one color, the spruce will give you another, uh, the tree matters. If you want some of the ancillary stuff, like um, oak trees will drop apples, dark oak trees will also drop apples. Uh, the tree will matter there as well. And if you want to complete one of the challenges, uh, the tree also matters there too. If that even answers your question. Right now, unfortunately, I'm still so early game. I'm having trouble even getting uh, some of the challenges taken care of. Oh, 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 it's nighttime again. Ow! Oh, hush. Oh, the better storm. Yes, let me grab my fishing pole. <laughs> yeah, I need the string to get a fishing pole. <laughs> yeah. What you got to trade? <laughs> Nothing. No. Uh, I think that, no, you did get a piece of iron. 
I ain't trading that iron. <laughs> I need at least four. No, the rain doesn't hurt you. But if you like fishing, like some people, it increases your odds of actually catching something decent. Or catching something uh, in general. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, it, it, uh, looking at the uh, mechanics, it said that uh, the rain gives you a 20% increased time, or uh, it decreases the time of you catching stuff. So you can yeah. actually catch, ow, I just got hit with lightning. Mm-hmm. But I'm under a tree. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just straight down. It travels at a diagonal. That was part of the problem with our sheep pen. It, it would hit the glass wall and electrocute the sheep. It, it also strikes everything within a particular radius of where it hits. So if it struck right in front of you... Uh, <laughs> time for cheat sheets? For whom? For us? Yes, it, it's called the Minecraft Wiki. I have spent many, many, uh, many hours on the Minecraft Wiki, double-checking stuff, looking stuff up, because it suddenly matters a lot more than it did before. <laughs> I was about to say, I've never looked anything up until I started playing Skyblock. <laughs> and now it's like, how does this, how does water really flow? How, <laughs> <laughs> how does water work? <laughs> yeah. My island level drop again because I harvested stuff. I bet it did. No, okay. I'm just unlucky. You are not oh. unlucky, sir. <laughs> yes, I am. Statistically, no. yeah. I, I'm gonna make somebody's math paper. I'm somebody's college thesis on. Defying the odds. You know the whole thing about uh, you know putting a piece of butter bread on top of a cat and then throwing it and see mm -hmm. you know, watch it spinning. I, I wonder if that would work similarly if we put you and Will Wheaton together, <laughs> rolling twenties, <laughs> twenties. I rolled a one. Would you roll a one? All right, let's roll again. I rolled a one. What did you roll? A one. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it'd probably go about like that. Oh, don't worry, Beach Duck. We need cheat sheets, too. We, we, we definitely need a few. Although, more a, as I do more and more research into the Skyblock, and I start building more and more of the farms, in, even in the vanilla, I am getting a better handle on the mechanics and once you once you start learning enough of the mechanics you can start seeing enough of the trends um, like obviously it was built by some computer -y people who were being self amusing with some of the numbers so you see 8, 16, 64 you know nice round numbers to a computer programmer popping up and all over the place and then you start kind of getting the sense that okay so Odds are this is probably going to be somewhere around 8 blocks, and this is going to be around 16, and this is going to be around 32, because you, you look at the the way other things work, or similar things work. And, uh, and it helps from there. And it's caught me my first tripwire. Ooh, nice. I'm actually kind of surprised you haven't melted down a lot of the iron you've gotten from your mob farm. Or, not iron, but gold and stuff. Actually, no, you probably do have some iron that you can get out of that, too. If you got the any chain, chain mail. mail. Yeah. Yeah, chain mail melts down to iron, but I haven't gotten much. My, uh, because of, or once I found my slime chunk, mm -hmm. which happens to be right next to my mob farm, I don't get... Hardly any mobs anymore. I've got to move that thing. Yeah, because the slimes are counting against your mob cap. So if slimes are generating while you're at the mob farm, then the slimes are taking up your hostile mob cap. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hello, skeleton horsey. Ooh, it's a trap. Nope. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Admiral Akbar would like a word with you. Could you please report to the Admiral's office? Yeah, that was something that I had completely forgot about in Arcadius and I were playing uh, my personal world. Oh. And I was like, oh, skeleton horse. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the horseman. Yeah. That's no joke. The, the cool thing was is I was ducking and dodging so much I got one of them to shoot the other one so they started fighting each other. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Rain didn't last long. No, it doesn't always. And sleeping resets a lot of the internal counters for the the rain mechanics too. It's why in season one we didn't we never saw it rain all that much. Because uh, every time somebody would sleep, it would reset a bunch of the stuff behind there. Ooh, some clay. It's the kind of thing that makes me wish for fortune. I don't know what I'm going to do with the clay. I mean, I guess I could trade it with a villager when I get it one. Now, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind doing some terracotta. I was about to say hardened clay, but it hasn't been hardened clay for many years. Um, I don't like the glazed terracotta, so probably not that. But uh, the regular terracotta. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that uh -oh. because... Earlier today, I was talking with Arcadius, trying to decide if anybody wanted four pieces of terracotta. Because <laughs> in my infinite wisdom, I decided to burn clay instead of turning it into a bricks. Oh, and yeah. Right, and it turned it into terracotta. Um, one of the things, one of the things that I've been debating on is suggesting that for the skyblock season, we add the custom recipes that gives you more blocks for your bricks. So like instead of taking uh, instead of using like four nether brick to get a nether brick block um, it would give you more than that. Uh, I forget how many more. I gotta, I gotta go look it up again. It's on the vanilla tweaks. Because I know Hermitcraft did that because the relatively low amount of clay makes it hard to collect bricks in quantity, at least until villager trading's a thing. Um, and same thing, you don't want people absolutely decimating the, uh, the nether where people might be. Just for a little bit of nether rack. Oh. And I, I, I never saw the value of it for for vanilla world with only four people in it and yeah that was the conclusion we came to at season zero and season in the start of season one and but now with skyblock uh being a little stingy on some of the resources like clay and netherrack I, i've been deeply thinking about that and bringing that up to the group for discussion to see if maybe we want to do it just for the skyblock season although on the other hand you can once you once you get a piglin captured and in a piglin trading hall, you can get a lot of nether brick, and all of a sudden that's a lot less of a problem. Um, one of the things that I've been kind of curious myself is, is if uh, hoppers in the nether count against your fifty hopper limit, or is it a separate fifty hoppers in the nether, fifty hoppers in the overworld? Because I'm not sure well, about that one. That's not something I'm going to test out right now. No. Well, I mean, all no. you got to do is your your uh, your check your island info once you put it in there and see how many hoppers it counts against you when you uh, when it tallies up your island. Because if you if the stuff in the Nether doesn't count, you best believe I'm building a big honking storage system in the Nether, and I'll just keep going back and forth from there. Because well, I, I like organization. Un unfortunately, I don't want to spend five iron ingots to make another hopper right now. <laughs> oh man, if only somebody turned their mic on, I bet we could hear them. You don't have to. You already have a hopper out here, right? 
they're both being used right now. Like that's my point. So your island info will say you have two active hoppers. You go through your portal and check your uh, island info. If it says you still have two hoppers, then it counts. No, that doesn't necessarily. You would need to set up a third one and put it or take down one of the two, check, and then move over to the nether, check. Or, or sorry, put one in the nether and check. Ooh, redstone! Oh, and I don't have iron. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, that's going to hurt your soul, isn't it? <laughs> sorry, I got to be... Are you done laughing now? Yeah, I'm good. No. no. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Make oh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh. I, I was laughing so hard. Not not so much because you were like mm -hmm. really excited over the redstone, mm -hmm. but the first time iron popped up in my thing i'm like oh iron and then i hear oh. in the lava <laughs> burn it up and it just reminded me as soon as that happened that's the first thing i thought of i was like man that it, it all just it played out in my head you going oh redstone and then the lava burned it up that's kind of what happened with me with the iron sorry oh. that was funny no, it wasn't. I could use that mm -hmm. redstone right now. I would for I would forego a hopper if I had the redstone to make a couple of pistons for uh, melon pumpkins. That way, all I got to do is just run around and push a button and get my melon and pumpkin. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Are 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 you rethink <laughs> Are you rethinking things? Yes, because I've got pistons. Yeah, matter of fact. Um, what I, what I really was thinking of doing is, um, it'd be ghetto fabulous, but you set up the, the melon and pumpkin stems with pistons ready to break, and then you set a boat on a water course in a big, long timed circuit set up. So that way it will, uh, float over a pressure plate behind each of the pistons. And then that way it'll harvest if there's something there and push it into a water stream that can go down to a hopper. You're welcome. And then later you can replace that with an actual redstone clock when you get enough redstone. No, no, I have to do the mob farm first. No? I have to do the mob farm first. I've got to get this mob farm fixed. <laughs> oh, believe me, i I, I got to get the mob farm started. I, I need enough cobble to... Uh... Well, you know, I was over at Arcadius' island, uh, you know, testing out things about, like, not dying. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, you know, eh, I've got 57 levels, but that's okay, because I can oh. just make it up with the mob farm real quick. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. And since then, I'm still sitting at just yeah. 22 levels. I had it on audio only, but if I remember right, you got murdered by a spider in the passive mob farm? Yeah. No, I got no? murdered by a Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. The passive mob farm. Okay. Uh, just so you know, that means that your light levels are too low for passive mobs to spawn. They require a light level of 9 or higher. So if, some, if yeah. there's a spot in there that's lower... Low enough for a spider to spawn. Yeah, I fixed that. Okay. <laughs> and I keep seeing a lot of references to passive mobs needing at a minimum a 9x9 nine nine block of grass. But I, they're not always reliable sources, so I would take that with a grain of salt. And two different entries in the wiki say different things. One entrance... One 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 part of the wiki 
says that um, passive mobs will spawn in an ocean biome. The other says that it will not. Which one is true? I have no idea. Because yeah, naturally, think, they say different things. I think that's where you and I were having the issue yesterday when we were talking about it. Yeah, because... the fact that what I read said no. And yeah. what you read said yes. Yeah. And one of these things is not like the other? Yep. And, on, and to Rayest's earlier problem, too, every time I try to find where somebody built one, it's on, on an earlier version of Minecraft, but they don't mention that part. So there's no mention of if that would apply to the current version of Minecraft. That's just what they did on that particular version. And then you start looking at some of the other um, farm designs, and you, you get like the, the Nem Bomb style, like with these 802 dispensers and a redstone yeah. clock and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you too can grow, like, yeah, dude, for serious. That's the, that's the problem <laughs> I was having with spider farms is oh, they all require know, a spawner, exactly. Yeah, and the only passive ones I could find. Are ones you know from eight um, years ago? You could do a creeper farm like the one that we did, and as long as you didn't put the columns in there, it would spawn both creepers and spiders. Um, because spiders only require a block and I think a block and a half. I know it's not a full two blocks for that two blocks height. So by lowering the ceiling in a spawner, you will get more spiders because there will be less of the other stuff. So like if you put a nothing block but and a bit. Yeah, a block and a bit. I just don't remember how big that bit is. And that that's really bothering me now that it comes down to it. How much is that bit? in the window. Um, yeah. I'd have to look it up again. I just remember that creepers and spiders, if you put a trapdoor, so it's a block minus the height of the trapdoor, it'll spawn creepers and spiders, and then you have to do some other stuff to get the spiders to not spawn. Because usually, the goal is not to spawn just spiders. Unless you're deeply, desperately short on string, then, you know. Where, where, where are the spiders again? <laughs> deeply and desperately. Yeah. Like, if I can get a reliable source of string, that will solve a, a large majority of the problems that I'm having right now. But beyond just the challenge for the wool? Yep. What else do you need all the string for? Fishing poles until oh. <laughs> sometime within the next two years I actually get a decent pole. I, I, I'm surprised you haven't fished up in a few more broken poles or nearly broken poles. You know what's funny is even the even the ones that are, aren't enchanted, mm -hmm. I have only fished up two fishing poles this entire time. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think his uh, his pool's deep enough. Um. But... Yeah, I I I know that my knowledge on the fishing mechanics are super out of date. Chris. Thank you. Jeez, also, I think we're running with okay. the newer. Or or the... is this a Monty Python free zone? Um. I think we're also running with the new How? 
loot table, which is... Oh, what? Someone surpassed me. You're welcome. Don't build a giant, uh... You know... Well, you build the giant pagoda, and uh, you have more blocks. The the key factor to island level is more blocks placed. Okay, I now have a nine by nine mm -hmm. grass field for passive mobs to spawn in. Okay. How many? Nine by nine. How many? Nine by nine. <laughs> Uh, and you need to, just like hostile mobs, you need to make sure that you are more than 22 blocks away, but no, or 22. Yeah, it, the distance you would need to be away from the hostile mob platform, you'll need to be away from your passive mob platform, uh, because it follows a lot of the same mechanics. So you can't be too close to it, you can't be too far away from it. If you're a certain distance away, they have a random chance to despawn, and... Uh, you're telling me you have to be just right. Mm hmm This block is too far. This block is too near. This block is just right. Any day now, you could finish falling. Alright. I needed the lumber for something. What's the wolf puppy for? To get a dog. What's the dog for? Well, A, for company, and B, you can get the dog to kill skeletons for you. Mm. And if anything attacks you while the dog is not sitting, um, he will attack them back. Oh, well, that's fall convenient. Off the ledge, cause... Yeah, he'll also fall with you. He'll follow oh. you. That would be very depressing. Mm -hmm. They're not very smart, but they're very, ro very loyal. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Yes, yes, Reyes, it does. So what? Except Jumper so really is like oh. deceptively intelligent. Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. Never mind. No, I was talking about Jubbalub. J Jabba is very deceptively intelligent. <laughs> I legit think you would just laugh at us for jumping off the thing. No, he'd come find me. All right, give me the orange sticks. <laughs> All right. uh, I need storage too. I need to find shelter for a minute. All right. Um, I think I'll do this. And for the moment. Not again. Oh, I haven't grown any acacia yet. Hey, I haven't seen you guys in forever. Why didn't I have a drink? I really need them to stop that. Alright, um... Oh, really? Oak. Dum, dum. Congratulations. Thank you. Ooh, nice. You're an excellent farmer? Very excellent farmer. 
I don't want to talk about how long that took. <laughs> uh, oak planks and stairs and slabs. Oh my. I'll keep the sticks in there. Slabs. Oops. Thank you for your contributions. Next. We'll get the dark oak. Blocks and stairs and slabs and stuff. Uh, I need to actually grow some acacia. Remind me Thank you Sorry, booping phantom was on the nose like you use sharks <laughs> I don't think that's the way that works Won't work for me Messing with me while I harvest more pumpkins. Okay. <laughs> Maybe barrels were not the appropriate size container for this job. snoring all the way over here. Like, I'm worried if I set the mic more sensitive, it might pick him up. Um. And some oak trap doors. Some spruce trap doors. That is a lot of wood, sir. Hmm? Who? You. No, that is not a lot. How do I want to do this? 
Vamos. I can definitely put that guy there. Get a cobble slab under him. But, uh, never the optimist. We go one, two, three. <coughs> and we we'll get green diary and a site. for now. And get a couple more iron before this is done. I ho, I ho. To the generator I go. I mean, you guys do keep insisting that I'm a dwarf, so, I mean, it seemed a little more appropriate. Your buildings do keep insisting that you're a dwarf. What? No. <laughs> I mean, we're in Skyblock. There is no under a mountain. Unless you build the mountain first. Ooh, maybe I will do that. Mm -hmm. Build a mountain in the sky. A dwarf. Very, or, or, very or maybe I'll start, you know, following Reyes lead and start doing column cobble walls around the entirety <laughs> of my build. Hey, but you know what? She reached rank one while we were still, you know, <laughs> learning how to set up the cobblestone generator. And I haven't done any more of those in a hot minute because I want to get my top platform set first. Ah. Oh, before you start building more uh, blocks to yeah. nowhere. Yep. Yeah, I think I was sitting here like, how do you crouch? And she's already rank one. Like, way ahead rank one. Level 20. There we go. Level 20 yeah. island. I keep looking like there's going to be something in there. There's not going to be anything in there. Well, even if I don't get uh, more fish for food, I'll have plenty of melons to snack on. <laughs> Enough. That's right. in there. Okay. Put that in there. I can put my melon slices in there. Might need to sprinkle some more uh, crafting benches around. 
<laughs> I've got like five of them. <laughs> well, I keep having to go to like the one or two that I got floating around, and it's like, ah, oh, this is getting annoying fast. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, I have one in my inventory right now. I legit have one crafting bench. I have one now, but I was thinking about using them for decoration. Using crafting benches for decoration? Yeah. It's like functional decoration. Well, that's the one in my kitchen is like that. said it. I know. <laughs> you know what I miss? Having ender pearls. I mean, you can fix that pretty easily. I ain't looking one of them guys in the eye. Not right now. I have one. And I, I got that like on day one because I accidentally looked one in the eye. <laughs> yeah. I won, but... It was bitterly <laughs> fought. <laughs> Very much so. It was very questionable for a while whether or not I was going to win. Isn't that usually the case with those guys? Pretty much. Hmm. Which one was the sawmill challenge? Uh, eight stripped of each. Which reminds me, I got enough iron that I can get a grindstone. Which will actually And cut. I now have a donkey and a cocoa bean. A donkey. And a cocoa bean. Oh yeah, I forgot that there was a uh, challenge that gave you cocoa beans. Mm -hmm. Oops. And more useless redstone. What do you mean useless redstone? What I just said. What do you mean, useless redstone? I don't use it. That's your problem. Although, uh, I come back to um, probably going to have to use a little bit more now. What do I need the wheat for? Bread. And one of the challenges requires raw wheat, and another challenge requires hay bales. And There's if you're going to breed any horses, required. you'll need it. And if you're going to breed any sheep, you'll need it. And cows. Oh, of course. Of course. I come up here and you, you actually spawned. Hmm? You got something? Yeah, I came in the spider farm to shut it down. And... There's a spider in here. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant you had, like, uh... A wandering trader? No, a passive mob or something. Oh. Oh, no. Nope, there was a spider in here. Oh, no, that is three regular stone. Okay. Um, ah, it's already cooking. There's 
some reason I thought it was three smooth stone. Let's hang on to that for now. Oh, actually, I gotta get more cobble going for the uh, stone brick. This is one of the ones that uh, shows the limitation of these signs. The stone brick maker requires a bunch of different items, and it doesn't adequately tell you uh, what it is. It just says make 64 stone, but it's a lot more text than just that. Ah, that's right. I need more spruce logs. I do not need fence. Yeah. But in the meantime, I can make a stone cutter. which will help with making stairs and slabs and things a little more efficiently. putting a pointless roof on this farm. Oh, actually, I gotta double check uh, what late level cactus needs. Or just throw some more torches at the problem. One more fence post after the night passes. Is it that time again? Mm-hmm. It will quit. So that's going to get me four more iron ore, which will get me the fifth, the the rest I need for the uh, for the hopper. 
about 64 stone bricks. Third, um, let me write this down. My poor memory. Sixty-four stone bricks, thirty slab, thirty chiseled. Oof. And sixteen stone brick stairs. Got some of this already done. I've got the sixty four stone bricks and the thirty slabs. I need thirty chiseled. stare oh that's so much easier with a stone cutter because you don't lose so many stone bricks in uh in the stairs <laughs> it's the first thing i built with my first iron yeah i i just yep. oh <laughs> that's 15 stone i forgot stairs. about them what about stone cutters yeah. yeah, I almost did. Kind of like I forgot about campfires. Yeah. I saw our kid with one. Uh, we both did. And, and what, what what kills me is I know I used campfires early game in season one. It's just, the only campfires I made in season one was for decoration. Oh, I, I also use them for a lot of farming too, you know, to kill mobs for the various uh, farms. There we go. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. Let's put that away. I'll save the chicken for the moment. I'll cook up the iron. I could cook up the redstone. That'll give me the minimum four redstone dust, but that seems like a little bit of a waste. So I'll wait until I get an iron pick. Yeah, I guess I could technically make a shield. No, I'm not going to make a shield. You know, it's really sad as I actually almost made one. What, a shield? A shield. And then I realize, oh wait, I've got to conserve iron. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess the... the the real kicker of it is with uh, with a in a vanilla world, a shield is a really good use of early game iron because you need the defensive capabilities. In Skyblock, if you have that many problems with mobs assaulting you, you need to really think about how you're building <laughs> because it is eminently preventable. To have that many mobs coming after you. Yep. Shut up, Christy. How late are we going today? Uh, I wasn't going to go too much longer. 
mostly I'm just happy I, I got the the one hopper for uh, to start pumping everything losslessly into into the into the chest over here. I was also thinking about making a quick tour of uh, everybody's island since I did that last live stream too. But uh, I'll wait till the daylight hours for that. That's fair. <laughs> that, that's how I ended up spawning phantoms on Medic's Island last week. Oh, that's unkind of you, sir. <laughs> I mean, I didn't intend to. Especially since he couldn't kill him, so I had. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what made it worse. I guess I don't need those slabs there. I don't need those slabs there anymore. Because now that I got the hopper, that makes a lot of things easier. not going to count on this too much for iron but I start getting enough bricks I can start getting enough iron out of that challenge too because if I do that challenge again although I'm not sure what the requirements are going to be this go around if I do that challenge and again I can get another four iron which will get me an iron pick which I can then use to <laughs> to, to take care of the uh, redstone ore my kingdom for some fortune. Yeah, there are definitely some uh, game mechanics that I miss. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, a lot of them are late game mechanics too, like fortune and mending, and we will get them. They weren't that late for us, though. Uh, they weren't that late for us in season one. They were late for us in season zero. The difference being in season one, we got to the villager trading way earlier. And that made all the difference. Because we had villagers in Season 1 by, like, what, Week 2? Week 3? Yeah. And we immediately built a little hall and got them to making babies and... <laughs> oh, oh, look! Y you look bored. Here's a job. No, 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 not those books. These books? No, 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 not those books. These books. No, I said not those books. These books. <laughs> That part took yeah, a while. Yeah, certain people may have been aggressive in their uh, people collecting. Hmm? I miss having ready access to all those clerics for redstone trading, too. And glowstone. Because it'd be nice to set up a lot of glowstone lamps around this place, too. Then I'd feel a little less neat, you know... I wouldn't feel as compelling a need to, to slab everything up like I have. But I am not doing the torch spam. Sam, I am. I wouldn't mind getting a couple of librarians to trade glass with, and then I could start doing uh, some glass patterns on the on the floors. You know, like do 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 some patterns and then cover it with glass. That's why I was trying to figure out how far apart I wanted to make floors as I built up from the bottom. I was probably going to leave the cobble half slab so that way if I ever started remodeling a floor I'd have a platform to catch, catch stuff on. Alright. Shall I warp over or walk over? Grass doesn't have a gate, so I guess I'll walk over. Look at Grass flexing with her chiseled stone. You haven't seen flex yet. Oh. Yeah, 
if she made her house out of iron blocks. What? Not yet. <laughs> I love the not yet. What's with the random grass block? Or are you trying to get the grass to jump over to the next area? That's my sacred block. Is that your center block? No, that's not your center block. No, that's my sacred block. Okay, what is so sacred about your sacred block? It's grass. It's going to be my permanent grass block. I'm going to build a fence around it and everything. Oh. Uh, yeah, silk touch is another thing that, you know, would be really nice to have right about now. <laughs> Starting up your uh, decorative flooring. All the... Is that acacia flooring? Yeah. Oof. I'm getting around to growing these guys. Mm -hmm. My acacia trees are next to my acacia flooring. My birch floors are next to my birch trees. Dark oak. This is the intermediary area that's getting the pretty colorful pattern. <laughs> and oak. And spruce. Oh, I need shears. And Vines. I'm working on jungle. And I haven't decided what's going over there yet. You got a full floor below here, don't you? Hmm? Not all everywhere. I will eventually. Ah. Holy mother of fish, Batman. Yeah, it's a thing. I wonder why you're not worried about fish. Um, I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, yeah, they're all under there. Oh, under under here? In your cobble column? Yep. Okay, so, so the underside isn't quite uh, complete yet. Negative. Nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see if uh, medical open up the gate Took by the time I get there. Me to decide kind of what I wanted to do. Uh, medic is down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, give me just a second, and I'll walk no. up there, because you can't get out of the house without me opening the door. Oh, get that there. Is Arcadius on? You can do Arcadius's first. Well, no, now that um, Medic said that you can't get out without him being there, I'm trying to see if I can prove him wrong. Well, I mean, you can't. You can jump out the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what go. was that? Of course. <laughs> what? Who said of course? <laughs> you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I don't think so. Well, that's right. You, you you finished this up today, right? The uh, full set, the full enchanting setup. Yep. yep. Nice. Sure you gonna expand out that nether wart once you get a little more uh, soul sand? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. As a matter of oh, fact, yeah. where the portal is at, I'm going to I'm going to build a whole little section down there uh, that's dedicated to the uh, the Nether. Uh -huh. um, you know, it'll be built out of Nether rack bricks and that kind of stuff, that magma box, everything. And the entire Nether work farm is going to go in there. Nice. Well, that does beg the question: How do I? Uh... How do I tour the nether bases? Well, I get, maybe once I get my own nether base, I can uh, path off like like that. Are they built out the same way these are, where it's like if you go 64 it, blocks? I'm not sure yet. I'm a little lost. This oh, has gotten okay. a little well, more Byzantine since uh, the last I was here. Well, this is the basement. Um... I've got storage for the items that I get out of the mob farm and slime farm in mm -hmm. here. Uh, that's the door down to my basement level. 
Oh, this is where your uh, different farms are? Yep. It is water down at the bottom, so you can't it, fall. That, that's what I was double-checking. Oh, I don't know if you know this, but a waterlogged bottom slab is enough to stop you from taking fall damage. Oh, that's okay. I don't take a chance. That's my infinite water source. I am currently... Um, mm -hmm. Eight know, slime balls away from your slime farmer? Oh, thanks, Pickle. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've, got, I, I've gotten that quite a few times. Is that for the mob farm design? Yeah, that was the mob farm design. Nice. It, it's not an exact copy of his, but he, I was watching him yeah. is what gave me the idea for it. Okay. But the mob farm, which obviously you can see is not working very well because I found my slime chunk over there and my slimes are a lot more than my f mobs. At the oh, time. yeah. Yeah, that's... uh. Yeah, they're eating up your mob cap. That's why yeah, nothing's so I'm, dropping. I'm currently in the process of tearing all that down. Um, uh, the other option might be to have an area big enough where you could open up a trap door. And because if I remember right, they won't spawn in flowing water. So you could have it set up so where you hit a couple of trap doors and it floods the area, preventing them from spawning. And then letting you use the mob farm, and then when you're ready to do a slime farm, you just close the waterlogged trap doors. It's a possibility, because I haven't started tearing down the mob farm yet. It's the spider farm that I'm tearing yeah. down right now. Although with the problems that you had with uh, bats in that one, it might be time to look at a different design anyway when you move it. Uh, from what I've read, it doesn't matter what design you make, unless, of course, you've got a ton of iron and dispensers and observers and all that mess. It doesn't matter what you make, you're going to get a bunch of bats. Drives you um, batty, doesn't it? Yeah. What so makes bats not spawn? Uh, <laughs> having somewhere for them to fly out and, uh, yeah. Oh! This... You're one lone bee in the void. I wonder if you can no, rescue I've got, him. I've got three of them, and I might be able to if I get some flowers down here. Where's the so other two? Three of them. Uh, there's Do you one need right flowers? Mm -hmm. No, I've got them. Okay. Uh, there's one over here near my nether portal area. Oh, that's a rather just, precarious just, corner. And there's one over there by the... Slime farm. Oh, uh, he might be too low to save him. I don't know, but I can't, I can't shoot them either because it says he can't hurt anything there because it's outside of my block. Yeah. Uh, do they have to be enclosed? Do what? Yeah, yeah, they'll fly away. Oh, the bees? Yeah, they will totally fly away into the least accessible part of anywhere that you didn't want them. I can't go through your nether portal, so I can't take a look at that. There's nothing on the other side but slabs anyways. Nice. So, yeah, this is, uh, this will eventually come all the way down, because I have a ladder right now that's, that comes down to that bottom run, that bottom level, mm -hmm. but I'll eventually get it to come all the way down, um, and then put up, put a, a water pit down here and then get rid of this one. Uh, I have back here. So so my drop down will be more central to Yeah, to, to everything. where everything is. Yeah. I'll try to stay under cover so I don't bring phantoms over you to your humble abode. Um the whole time I've been down here, I've never got phantoms down here. Well lucky you. No, I don't think they actually spawn this slow. Yes, but you're hanging out with the luck genie. Here, well, let's also, try that theory, shall we? He's also <laughs> wearing the uh, oh, yeah. helmet. I forgot I had that on. So he's probably calling his brethren. But we'll stand out here. I don't mind. 
You don't mind until you get knocked off into the void. Do I have anything of value? No, I don't have anything of value. No, I seriously don't think that they uh, they spawn while you're this low. I think because technically we register at Y0. Mm -hmm. But I'm not so they sure about that. Go after. Hmm? That is where I'm building the uh, spider farm. Ah. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! What was that? Oh no! About a skelly spawned up there. Oh, on your island? Yeah, yeah. That sounds un. Oh, I was gonna say that sounds Whoa. unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. And uh, the the price for not having people rifling through your barrels and chests is nobody can also help you with the skeleton. <laughs> Can someone make it night? No. Because I don't have a bed. And you don't have a bed. And we don't have single player sleep working yet. That'll happen on Saturday. <laughs> what did you do? Just warp back up there? Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably should do that a little more often than I do. I, I don't even think about it, to be honest. I uh, didn't for the longest time. I did exactly what you're doing, and all of a sudden, yeah. one day, it just clicked. I'm like, wait a minute. My home block is up there somewhere. Yeah. All right, so we've got this. Well, let me close this gate. There you go. We've got this gate. Is there a roof above there? No, but come on. Does dying count as sleeping? No, dying does not count as sleeping. A dirt nap does not count. So over here, phantoms won't come get you either. But this is kind of like my... It was my uh, bee-making station. Now, then it turned into... Yeah, I think it was... Tree. Was it was it Saturday that you were... Uh, or Friday? That you were trying to herd the bees from here into that room there. That was Friday. That was Friday. Yep. Which I finally did. And this is my bee room. Nice. Yeah, I yep. definitely want to get in on this. I think what I'll probably do is I'll actually just grow the tree with the bees nest in here. In the room that I'm going to build them in. And yeah. then just... yeah. If I would have done that if I would have thought about it, but it wasn't until I'd already gotten the yeah. stuff built and the stuff I, that Reyes goes. I, yeah, I'm just going to build it where I'm going to keep it. A derp. Yeah, I thought about that after watching you struggle to wrangle the bees, and I'm like, you know, maybe I'll just spawn the nest where... Uh... <laughs> yeah, but I tried to make this building look a little bit like the inside of a bee nest with some yeah. trees growing in it. Are you going to throw some more honey blocks around, uh, or the honeycomb blocks? Uh, not quite sure. Not quite sure. Ooh. I uh, wanted to do the sideways Pooh Bear bucket thing again, but yeah. that required a lot of resources that I just don't have. So, I went with this. Yes, yeah, the early game shuffle. Yep. Just like, I, I has two iron. I could... <laughs> Uh, that way is down oh. to Arcadius's section. Um, so got the regular farm yeah. here that's going to be taken care of soon. <laughs> My new cactus farm. Yeah, I saw that. Where it goes directly into there. And then I just click on it whenever it says ready. Yeah, that's where my second hopper is going to my cactus farm. Uh, new, well, this isn't new, but this is my pumpkin melon farm. Which I'm telling you, these things grow amazingly well in the way I've set it up. Oh, what am I worried about? I can't trample your crops. It's not my island. Nope. Here I am trying to be all careful and stuff. Uh, the new tree zone that I built... Nice. So, as I was stating in my stream, 
I want to have. I want to have this. Oh, oh, oh! You brought a. Oh, you brought oh, a lot. Oh. <laughs> you brought a lot. Hi, friend. No, I can't pick up the loot. I can kill him, but I can't pick up the loot. That's I don't think. Guy. But uh, off each one of these walls is going to be two stalls. So I'll have two stalls here, hmm. two in the back, two on the side, and two on the other side. And each one's going to be colored in the tree. That... Oh, behind you. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you didn't like that. I booped his nose. <laughs> but each one of is going to be colored oh. <laughs> in the... Uh... My poor stone axe. I never bothered making a sword. I, I figured since I'm not going to have any of the fun enchantments on it to make it worthwhile, I'll Watch whack him with you. an axe. Oop. All right, you want to run back inside real quick? <laughs> or you want to keep killing these guys? Might as well. Yeah. Too bad phantoms don't drop something you can eat. Oh. There, enjoy Would your you phantom really membrane. Would you want to eat anything that dropped off a phantom? Out of revenge? Yes. Out of survival? But he's already wearing the head. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to point that part out. See, at this point, I'm not even like, it's like, okay. Anon is wearing a weird head of some creature that he has slain. Some poor innocent creature. Oh, there ain't nothing innocent about these guys. And, and says the person with the the crop of cod heads. Yeah, I don't know what happened. They just like kept multiplying. Uh, All right. you, you don't Let's know what happened? Up. I could tell you how you got the cod head. But here's my little fishing station. So outside of lightning strikes, yep. I haven't gotten hit by anything yet. I just come stand right here Did you the leaf. Did you get the kelp uh, from a wandering trader, or did you get that as the result of a challenge? I got one kelp as a result of the challenge. Okay. So yes. I think it's the uh, the sea fish or the fisherman challenge. I think. Okay. Because yeah, getting a kelp farm would definitely help with the fuel issues. I wouldn't have so much my log going into fuel if I could start getting some bundles of kelp. Yeah, um, the bundles of kelp that I have, I just now got enough for the next challenge. Ah. I have 64 blocks of dried kelp. <laughs> yeah... I mean, you think that wouldn't be too bad, but... Well, no, but I given the size of... I'm surprised you didn't make that tank deeper to get larger a larger bundle of kelp. Well, I haven't yet. There's plans in the works to do so. Um, so one harvest back, gets back, you how much kelp? I think it's 40, 48. So, you know, I plan on building out back in the back here is that a, a fish big... in your mushroom farm or is that no longer a mushroom farm no that's my that's my cobblestone generator and oh aquarium okay <laughs> i just saw the fishtail outside of the trap door yeah. Yeah, that's my, okay my okay generator slash uh aquarium <laughs> i just saw the fish Outside, and I remember that you made a couple of, of uh, mushroom stations like that. Do you still have those, or did you take those down? No, I took them down now that Arcadius pointed out a much easier way of growing mushrooms. That you bone meal it into a large mushroom? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't necessarily point it out. I completed the challenge. <laughs> it's over there like, what? How? <laughs> Yeah, because I had been trying for, like, two days. Oh. I had three mushrooms. <laughs> I had three mushrooms. And then out of nowhere, he's like, oh, I haven't even started it yet. And then, like, within an hour, yeah. he completes the time. I'm like, how in the world did you do that? All right. Which way to Arcadius's place? Uh, I got to open up the gate. But oh. it's the... Uh, 
Is there, is there yeah. a reason why you decided to gate off the entrances, or? At the time, I didn't have them lit up, and I ah. didn't want mobs okay. wandering into my area. Uh, then it became, I lit it up as far as I could go, but the person on the other side didn't have theirs lit. Okay. And stuff was still spawning. Okay. So, uh, so you know, mine, since it's all bottom slabs, it's not going to matter. Nothing's going to spawn there. Same. Well, it's the same for his, too, except for these slabs right here, oh. which is mine. So... Oh, you know, Medic's it's Island? No big deal. Or Katie's Island? Oh, a Medic's Island? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep triggering those messages. That that way lies madness. But that's that's why. That's the only reason why those gates. I'm curious about the giant, specifically sized hole. Don't worry about it. Honestly, it was where I was growing crops, but ah. I needed the dirt for this. That's not where your boom happened? No. No, the boom's already been fixed. That was oh. in here, sadly. <laughs> oh, are you trying to get grass in here? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oof. It'll get here eventually. <laughs> You're literally watching the grass grow? No. No, I've got building to do up there, but... Hmm. Yeah, the slabs do make a little bit better uh, spiral stairs so long as you got them lit. Hmm. Except for the part where you walk you off to the ledge. Now you are at the top where I will build... <laughs> Ooh, I can't. Sir. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened? I I, I right clicked an axe on log. one of his logs. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is where I'm at now. So how many more layers are you gonna build? Oh, this is it. This is the house here. Ah. I haven't started. If you go down to where the pumpkin farm is, you can get a better idea of what you're looking at here. But, um... Yeah, That's never going to be not terrifying. Um... Oh! Oh! Uh, I missed my jump. Trying to show you around. <laughs> if you jump right here... <laughs> You'll die! <laughs> okay. There you are. Over here. Do, do, do. Oh, sorry. Nope. Yep, there you go. A little further back will get you just a little bit better of angle. Yeah, that does look nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there going to be a different crest to the roof then? If you're not going to build more layers? No, uh, a house is going to go right there. Oh, okay. And then off that house, I will probably finish with a... Uh, eh, actually, I don't know for sure. I think I'm going to go with the pagoda roof at the very top. Okay. Which is basically more of what you already see here, but it's steeples in the middle. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I see a couple of torches, so uh, we're doing a better job of lighting. <laughs> I, I heard the mishap while I had it on audio only at work. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have any more issues. Um, when I did have issues, it was because of stuff like this here, where I was leaving things open to do stuff. Ah. It should be fairly well lit at this point. I even have bolts into the be. side of the stumps up there. No, uh, not mixing any andesite into the stone wall, or is that once you get a little bit more? No, that'll come later after I actually finish. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't texturize while I go. That's 
That's how you scratch your head 42 times trying to remember what was there. Oh. <laughs> when accidents inevitably happen. Oh, well, yeah, that, that part. Is anything going to go on the uh, on the floors on the inside, or is it just a... Uh... No, it is a solid cube of stone going up. Uh, I'm putting my storage down here in each of these little nooks, and then it'll be a solid staircase up until you reach the uh, penthouse suite. Nice. Which, if I do it correctly, will look like a boat. <laughs> nice. No promises. Is this for you to sit by the fire? Yeah, that's where I cook my dinner at. No extra seat for company? No. Now get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. Uh, you got something going on. Where's the way down? I got a lot down there. Yep, you're looking at it. Oh, well, eventually. So no, no, uh, no passive mobs yet. I don't think I have the nine by nine. Ah, and a light level of uh, at least nine. Yeah, no, I've got that. Yeah, no, this is a seven by seven. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm not 100% sure on whether it needs 9x9, nine nine, bigger, smaller. Because I, I know I see a lot of the passive mob farms where they're bigger just because the larger the spawning space, the more the more likely something is to spawn. Yeah, similar to a lot of the mob farms that you want them, the bigger you can make the spawning platform, the better off it'll be. Hmm. Cool, cool. Oh, you haven't found your uh, slime chunk yet? No. <laughs> I've been too busy watching that. It's fun. Yeah. Is this where a couple of your hoppers went to? Four of them or just four. two? No, there's four. Four there and one up in my cobblestone. Nice. Uh, just to give you an idea, this chest is almost, this double chest is almost full of stuff. Yeah. To include empty potion bottles. Ooh, that'll help when you get some, uh, get ready to start doing stuff with villagers. Yeah, this thing goes ballistic. Yeah, I keep debating on, on the farm design. I think, I think I'm going to build it, uh, the first platform, like what we did for the creeper farm design, but without the trap doors, so everything will spawn, and I'll just put one of those boat <laughs> boat trapdoor clocks on the roof until I get the redstone to build a proper clock. Okay. And then, uh... Well, good luck. And then go from there. And then start building more layers once I get that done. Nice. Right. Eventually, I'll figure out how to get that headhunter somewhere. Now that I think about it, what I might do is I might just uh, set up uh, the admin. I oh, no, because nobody would be able to trade with them there either. <laughs> nah. All right, I guess it's wandering traders it is. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go home. It's dangerous here. Just there? Not just there, but I at least know where I have cover here. <laughs> you want to hear something slightly embarrassing? Oh no. What's that? I accidentally completely tore down my mob farm instead of the spider farm. Okay, I thought you were tearing the mob farm down anyway, no? No, I was, uh, when you were talking about just watering the, uh, Slime chunk, because it was working great until I got the slime chunk. Yeah. So I was just going to leave the mob farm here and move the spider farm. But I accidentally tore down the wrong one. 
Oh. That's sadness. Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to put the water down, see if the spiders will spawn. Because I'd rather have a spider spawn than <laughs> Bob's farm right now anyways. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, you're, you're very, very interested in getting those guys to to spawn right now anyway, aren't you? Yep, so as soon as I get to the bottom of this tower, I'm going to go dump a bunch of water on the slime thing, and then I'm going to sit by the spider spawner and see what happens. I'll get some uh, cobblestone cooking. And this is where I'm going to hit the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Still early game. I only got the cactus farm done. I thought I was going to be able to at least get uh, a melon pumpkin sp uh, space set up. But uh, I guess I'll have to wait until next time. Um, or until I get a chance to record an episode. Although, honestly, that will probably go towards finding the slime chunk and uh, detailing that out where you don't have to see me do the boring part of laying down a bunch of slabs and then uh, going, are, are, are you a slime chunk? No. Okay. Are you a slime chunk? No. Okay. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Coffee Craft. I, I live stream Coffee Craft every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Follow along if you want to get notified when that happens. If you haven't already, follow Arcadius and x -Medic Frog. They also live stream, uh, especially like today, where Arcadius kicked it off about noon, 1 o'clock, somewhere thereabouts, and then passed it on to Medic, who passed it on to me. And we have a wonderful little stream day on Tuesdays. Um... And everybody has their schedule set up on their Twitch profile, which if you go there, you might as well go ahead and give them a follow too, right? Right? And on Fridays, I also stream Games Revisited. This past Friday, I started The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. And uh, that, that's part of where, where my time crunch is happening, because i got to do prep for that and prep for this. And uh, if you want a dose of nostalgia, come join me Friday, 6.30 p.m. Although that is pretty much a live-to-tape episode, or a live-to-tape recording of the episodes that are going to go up on YouTube. So if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get the episodes for Games Revisited, the Coffee Craft live stream replays, and all sorts of other stuff as they go up. And I do plan on getting some other stuff up there as soon as I can get my life and time management in order. So it might be a little bit. With that said and done, let's see who's available for a raid. Uh, I don't see Beast Lord on, which I'm kind of surprised. Usually he's on, so let's go ahead and raid Grimly. He does a lot of different stuff right now. He's playing some World of Warcraft. I, I absolutely love that he takes the time to make sure that the people he's uh, traveling along with understand what's going on if he's working with people who are not familiar with the area that he's at. And wonderful man. Give him a follow if you haven't already. So let me hit the title card and then I'll get this raid started and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>